Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. I cannot, I cannot believe we're here. I'm here. I created this like YouTube account, I think back in like 2017 with very high hopes and clearly we didn't get very far. So being that I have been kind of MIA the last few months um, of 2019, going into 2020, I feel like I need to one, recap a few of the things that I found that I love that I wanna share with you guys. Now, there's not a whole lot because of the fact that I am a creature of habit. I tend to use the same things, so a few products that kind of just put myself out there and tried that I love, I think I definitely wanna share the love with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video and just keep on watching. So just getting started with skincare, I did receive this as a present for Christmas. It is the Derma Roller. Um, I can't pronounce the brand, so I'm not going to try to. I will try to link everything in the description bar below. If I know prices, I will share them, but I don't remember what everything costs, to be really honest. Um, I think this one was like $24, $25. So it is a micro needle Derma Roller. It does have... Um, like a needling to it and you're gonna go over clean skin so make sure that your skin no makeup everything's fresh on your skin you're gonna go over it just as is and just roll roll your little heart out and it definitely will puncture your skin a little bit you're not gonna have bleeding or anything like that but the whole point is it does exfoliate your skin so there's gonna be somewhat of a of a discomfort, I should say, because it, it does have needles on it. It is intended to exfoliate your skin, remove dead skin cells, it will enhance your natural glow and radiance, and who doesn't want all those things? Um, I do love it. One thing that maybe it's not intended to do that I notice is anytime I feel like I'm getting acne in certain spots, I'll definitely still roll over those spots. And I feel like the next day, it is totally ready to be I'm a popper. I know, probably gross to talk about, but whatever. Um, it literally makes the pimple, like, or any type of acne you have happening, it goes away, or it looks like it's ready to just be kind of popped and ready to go. So I feel like it's helped me maintain clearer skin because of that reason. And it also is intended to have a serum or something after to kind of put back into your skin after it's just steamrolled your face. So um, going into my next skincare product is one that I actually got from BoxyCharm and it is the Elemis Rose Facial Oil. It is pretty pricey once I looked it up. Um, it is $79 to purchase, but like I said, I got it at at my, in my BoxyCharm, so I did not pay that. <laughs> but if you have the means to, definitely would recommend this. Um, it is absolutely beautiful on the skin. I put it on at night. Anything oil, I get kind of nervous because I have comboed oily skin. So the thought of putting oil into my skin isn't something I'm necessarily like, yeah, let's do it. But I tried it. One, it smells like freaking heaven. And two, it leaves my skin so plump and juicy in the morning that I feel like it just makes my makeup application so much better than it does or did when I stopped using it. So clearly, I, I mean, I have used a generous amount of it. I got this, I think, two months ago. Maybe a little longer than that. I don't remember. Soothing oil. So after, especially that like dermal needling or micro needling, whatever it's called, and then having that over it, it's just like, ah, oh, and I just put it down my neck and I swear I feel like it's just like, a rose scented vibe but that's just me I'm, I'm very much into scents and that person so anyway mostly my go-to is always my Maybelline 24 hour stay foundation which is still up there because it's amazing but I did recently want to explore my horizons and I got the Huda Beauty I think it's called faux filter foundation and this is legit a filter in a bottle I'm not even kidding um I use less than one pump on my whole face now you know me I like a good amount of foundation on my skin and I I only need less than a, a pump. It's amazing. And it goes on so beautifully, so evenly. It does dry down to like a velvet finish. So I don't know if it's targeted to be mattifying or illuminating or not. I think it's I think it's meant to be a velvet finish to be honest. I didn't really check my You can box. definitely build it if you wanted to. You do not need to, in my opinion, but you can lower the coverage um with just a little bit of moisturizer or obviously a lighter hand. I don't have so much of a light hand. <laughs> I'm like all the time um but it's absolutely stunning on the skin um i'm the shade custard 220n and the only thing i would say about this foundation that everyone should know about 
Um, it's not a deal breaker, at least not for me. I love scent, as I just mentioned with the rose oil. This foundation does have a pretty strong scent. And when I say strong, I mean you put it on and you're like, oh my God, Britney Spears. It literally smells like Britney Spears' perfume. Her first one, I don't remember the name of it. It's like that blue, like I think it had like purple diamonds on it. It is seriously the same scent. It trips me out, but I actually really liked that scent, so I don't really mind smelling like that. And who doesn't want to be reminded of Britney's like amazing makeup and fashion sense back then? So totally into it. Um, again, scent is not for everyone, but it hasn't affected my skin in any way. I know sometimes scented products can make you break out. This has not done that for me, so I guess that's a good sign. Another product that's not intended to be a foundation, it is a tinted moisturizer. It is from First Aid Beauty, so I have purchased this numerous times. This product is amazing. I have it in the shade Fair. Um, I think Fair works for my skin, even though I probably wouldn't say I'm fair. I think I'm like more light, light than I am fair. Um, but anyways, I, I love it. It's an SPF 30. It is a tinted moisturizer as mentioned. So it definitely doesn't have this like abundance of coverage, but it covers redness. So I have redness on my skin, no secret. You guys have seen me without makeup before. So I feel like when I put this on, the intention of it is just, like I said, it's not going to be like such full coverage, but it um, it definitely takes away a lot of discoloration, not all of it, and it leaves just a really fresh, dewy look on the skin. Um, I love it. I think it's so hydrating. So again, you can use that as a foundation. Like I, on my natural days when I literally have to go to swim class and I know I'm going to get wet changing my kit after the pool. There's really not a whole lot of like effort that needs to be put into my face. I will just on my hands, put it on, put on that born this way, like da, 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 concealer, a little liquid blush, maybe some bronzer because that's just me and call it a day. And it's great. It stays on. The coverage stays on. It doesn't get greasy. Um, I would just be aware of putting it anywhere near your eyes because it is an SPF and let's just say no for experience not to get it in or too close to your eyes. I have um, definitely worn it under foundation before too, especially like I said, when I feel like it's kind of dry, but I have like my skin's getting dry, but I have to do my makeup and I have like something a little bit dressier for the night. So I want to wear a good full face of makeup. I have put that on as like a primer almost and that under my foundation has been awesome. It doesn't like, you know, when it like cakes up in spots cause it's kind of like, like blotchy. It doesn't do that. It is honestly a beautiful, beautiful product. And I think all year round, like I said, I use an under foundation for winter time. During the summertime, that's a beautiful one too, just to kind of put on um, like your beach days. I think I do this like when I go to the pool, I put it on just to feel like I have a little something, something cause that's me. Um, but again, an amazing product and definitely one to check out. I have a concealer. Um, this is the Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. You guys know I am a Shape Tape girl. I want to show you a comparison. Um, Shape Tape is definitely a little bit thicker than this one. But I do love how light yet the coverage this one gives. Um, so this one right here is the Born This Way. So I'm just showing you as far as like consistency goes. You could see that obviously one's a little lighter. It kind of melts a little bit quicker into the skin. It leaves definitely more of a radiant finish, which is what it says it's supposed to do. I like this more on my natural days because it it eliminates all the discoloration under my eyes, which is what you want, but also there's not a whole lot of brightening to it, but it, it, it definitely, it brightens, but not as like, wow, bright under eyes, like shape tape. Like no one can ever beat shape tape in that category, but. I do reach for that one a lot, like I said, on my natural skin days, or my natural makeup days, where I throw just like a tinted moisturizer on and that. Um, that's definitely an amazing, amazing concealer. I can like touch my face and not worry about messing it up, even though secretly I'm like, shit, did I mess it up? That's what I like to feel on my natural makeup days. I have fallen in love with the Pretty Little Thing, Pretty Little, pretty little Face Compact from MAC. Um, I will show you. It is this little trio here, and this, the product in this, it comes with the highlighter, it comes with the blush, and it comes with the bronzer. Clearly, you can see it. Um, it is such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I don't know exactly how to describe it. When I first opened it, I was like, wait a minute. Like, is it cream? Like, I had a moment because it has such a, like, little glisten to it that you think it looks kind of wet. Um, 
but it's not it's very much a powder this bronzer is so beautiful so good for like a natural bronzy look especially when you're a little lighter you don't want to have so much just like contour 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 this is a beautiful bronze to make your skin look tan um, and really fresh and the blush is just a true rosy hued color it's it's a beautiful and you know me I'm a blush girl so the more the more blush the better um, and the highlighter is just totally a bonus it's a beautiful highlighter it definitely um, I'm very picky with highlighter we're gonna get into highlighters next but I'm very picky with highlighters and I feel like highlighters I don't like when they make your skin look chalk really really sleek very lightweight compact that if you're trying to just like kind of grab and so moving on to highlighters this is a very exciting my girl Jaclyn Hill you guys know and if you don't know I love her she is like amazing in my opinion in my opinion and she came out with what I keep hearing is a limited edition highlighter I didn't know it was limited edition when I purchased it and I hope it's not true because I am recommending it to you guys or else this is gonna be kind of useless but I do know that they're available in Morphe stores and it is her holiday highlighter collection it is so stunning I have shared the mood light powder already on my stories once before and I'm not kidding I got like five of you asking me more about it so I don't know if you know this as I well as I've mentioned numerous times I guess I have combo to oily skin I use a lot of mattifying products I use a lot of setting powders that's just me and to make myself not look like a walking chalkboard I do have little tips and tricks that I use to help myself and one of those being putting highlighter which is supposed to be on the usually the high points of your face I tend to put it on my t-zone which is where you're supposed to be oily but because I put so much powder on I don't really get oily so to make myself look like I'm oily but I'm not oily I know see if you're see if you're still catching on to this I will use um, highlighters so I use the cover up backs perfect highlighter that's the one um, that I use often because it is a very 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 light 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 highlighter and I do put that here 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 and here so seeing that she came out with this high this mood highlighter I knew exactly what her intentions were with this because she does this too I did not know that she had done this when I started doing it so when I saw that she was doing what I was doing I was like we're best friends so this is this mood highlighter I have it in the shade Doomy, and it is just a simple little powder and it's a setting powder and I have just a bit I just need a good amount so I can show you guys on camera it's just a powder and first of all it just goes on like freaking velvet and it leaves your skin do you see that it is so stunning on so this is what like I said I'll put here 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 and all over your face if you put this on with just a brush and just dust it all over your face your skin will just radiate it radiates and it doesn't even look like you have powder on it looks like you just have this natural glow from within I think this product is an all-year-round amazing 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 product for everyone to have if you do not like anything or hear anything that I am saying hear me with this one this is seriously one of the best products out there I feel for any any skin type it's absolutely gorgeous you can even use setting powder and use this solely as your as a highlighter and it will completely transform your look it is absolutely stuck also came out with a highlighter palette which I clearly bought this is the flash palette um, there was the flare and the flash palette and I got the the flash clearly because it was the for a lighter skin tone um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how cool I'm gonna cover the mirror so you don't see all that but look how beautiful those are so the coloring uh, the names are gleam ice sparks and mesmerized and let me tell you mesmerized you will be with these babies so I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of these um amazing 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 so as i mentioned i'm very picky these literally leave your skin looking wet so if you've tried the cover fx liquid highlighters those are liquid so they make your skin just look wet and dewy like just fresh and glowing like those are amazing this is a powder and it does this and i feel like this does this better than than the other thing i just mentioned but these are absolutely stunning they're creamy they're so easy to blend I put these on with brushes I put them on with um, beauty sponges I did purchase her 
her brushes. She came out with three brushes to go alongside each of these products. I did purchase them. I think they're great. I don't think they're necessary though. So that's why I'm kind of excluding them from this conversation because I feel like you can definitely get away without having her specific brushes for them. I'm gonna keep this on because there is one more highlighter product that she came out with and I need to compare for you guys. She came out with a loose set, uh, sorry. She came out with a loose, loose highlighter. There you go, she came out with a loose highlighter. And I got it in the shade Extra. And Extra, it freaking is, you guys. I've only used this a couple times because it is so intense that it has to be like, there's certain occasion I want this type of intensity as a highlighter. Um, my everyday, probably not. <laughs> so this is extra. And I don't even know exactly where to put it. Um, but it just, like, do you see? Like, it just, it's insane. It looks like just this beam of light on your face. It is a showstopper of a highlighter. Do you see that? It's just, it's completely stunning she really hit it out of the park with her highlighters um i know her lipstick situation was kind of a mess some would say not me but anyways this is so up her alley with highlighters jacqueline hill is known for always having those like really really like glowy cheeks and that whole vibe it's so who she is and so her branding for this is like so hard could not be more excited for this product and i i can't really be more excited for what else she has um in store for us this year on to eyes um i don't really have eyeshadow palettes that are really anything so spectacular that i need to share um but i did pick up the mark jacobs eye uh, mascara primer eye primer I was like, eyelash primer um i don't have the best eyelashes naturally these are not obviously natural lashes right here Oh, I just flipped you guys off. Sorry. Anyways, um, this comes out almost like it does have the same consistency of like a face primer. It reminds me of like the professional face primer. I'm not even kidding. Same coloring and everything. Um, so this I definitely would say works for those who want fuller, thicker lashes. I think if you're looking for like longer, I don't see this making my eyelashes any longer. I do see it filling in my eyelashes I see it getting a little chunkier which isn't a bad thing and I don't know if chunky is maybe the worst you know the best word to say but like fuller fine makes them fuller or I feel like they look thicker and fuller and I do see a difference in my eyelashes when I wear them plain like with no primer or when I wear it with the primer I think this retails for like either 23 or 27 dollars I do not remember I'm pretty sure it's 23 dollars though um I would definitely repurchase it like I said for me I really do like it um Definitely one to try if you are interested in any type of eye eyelash primer. Um, again, I've never used other brands as the first one. I saw Jess Southern, who I love, and I follow on Instagram. She had this one, and she recommended it, so I was like, we need to go to Sephora. So moving on to lips, um, I'm wearing this shade right now. It is called I Don't, and I always say it like that because I feel like you have to. It is the L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick. It is absolutely beautiful 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 obviously very pigmented very long lasting um i have to say this formula is it's kind of weird because when you first put it on it feels like oh my god it's like wet like you feel like it's cold and it's wet on your on your lips it's crazy but it is so hydrating on your lips it does not dry out it is like i said long lasting i'm repeating myself right into ulta grabbed this color didn't care the brand nothing and like I said, I used this the day of the wedding. I didn't even test it before. It is, it, I was pleasantly surprised. It lasted all night through dinner, everything. I got so many compliments on this color um, and on my makeup. Anyways, uh, it's, it's beautiful and it comes in so many different shades. I've tried a few other shades. They all are just as stunning, just as pigmented, just as long lasting. Price point's amazing. So I think this is one to definitely give a shout out to. Um, if you haven't tried L'Oreal lipsticks, like I said, this was this was one of my first. Another one that I love, which is another drugstore, and it is Maybelline, is this beauty. So it is a collaboration with someone who I do not know, and I feel horrible that I don't know this person. But I went out and still bought the lipstick, so can't get mad at me for that. Um, I had seen this on Instagram, and I was like, what? is that anything pinky pearly like that's so my vibe for for lipstick so i was like where is this lipstick ulta doesn't have it cvs doesn't have it walgreens pack my kids up in a car and drive to san jose like i don't even care san jose's a hops skip and a jump away for me and especially for a lip gloss that i like need to have i would do it so we ended up going to reno we went to walmart side note walmart is 
freaking awesome. I went into Walmart with my eyes, like I felt like a kid in a candy store. Everything was beautiful. The produce was beautiful. The products were beautiful. There was like a beauty cube where their makeup department is and you could only purchase makeup in that cube. It was very like VIP and it was amazing. There's a McDonald's. There was a hair salon. There was a nail salon. I could see myself being like, okay, honey, you get groceries. We'll see you at the checkout. Like it was I was just mind blown with this Walmart. But anyways, aside from me just being in love with clearly all things Walmart, I I found it. Again, I, it's a collaboration with, I don't know her name, Summer, Schmear, something, McKean, McCann, I don't know. But it is so pretty on the lips. I can't, it's beautiful just as is for that natural makeup, like I said, because that's a very teeny 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 hue of a pink to it but it's just so light and sheer it's beautiful on top of lipstick too like a beautiful topper just to add a little hit more color to your lipstick it is absolutely gorgeous it is long lasting i don't know if you guys have tried the liquid lipstick to this this is the the liquid lipstick the mattifying this one great first of all um the colors of these ones are driver and loyalist both amazing amazing and I have had their liquid lacquer, hot vivid lacquer. And this one is a very intense gloss that will stay on just as long as a liquid lipstick and keep your shine. I was actually very impressed with this one. This, it's an older one, so I don't really feel like I wanna like praise it. But like I said, this part of the same family as that. They all have the same smell, which is like Carmex, like a chapsticky lip gloss that I always have accessible to me when I am doing my makeup and when I'm getting ready. So that is it, you guys. Those are the few products I have to share. I hope that you either have them and can comment down below and tell me, girl, you are right, this is amazing, or you tell me, hey, I am on my way to the store to purchase them. So let me know um, if you have any of these or you're gonna buy them, pretty much. I have always enjoyed getting the DMs from you guys when you've purchased things that I've suggested. I know I only have like 82 followers, who's counting. Um, I have gotten a few DMs of people who either ask me for suggestions and they buy it. That's the whole point is I feel like I follow people on Instagram and I've commented on videos and stories before. And the whole reason why I comment is because I'm intrigued with what this person is saying. So when I get anything like that or any feedback or anything, it seriously just makes me feel so excited. Um, and I love that. It's so just let me know, comment, just exchange anything. I'm on Instagram at the beauty juice. Um, follow me on there, follow me on here. Um, I hope to get more of a hang of this YouTube situation so I can try to upload more videos. Let's see if I can even figure out this one before I'm sitting here like on my next video because like this might be the last one. You might not even see this because Lord knows if I know how to upload. Again, um, subscribe to my channel. I hope we can engage more and just kind of create this little makeup fashion beauty community together. And yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I will see you guys soon.